Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, we've got another solar panel review for you. This is a 300 watt lightweight folding panel. Pretty interesting. It is made by a company called Darren Ainer, and uh, it's got a couple of nice features that we want to show you. We're going to test this panel, we're going to take a close look, and um, we're going to go over all the specs as well. So, why don't we go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. but. Keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Before we get started, make sure you take some time and check out our detailed review on the Neo 2000. This is a 2000 watt power station. This video is coming out any day now. So look out for it, but let's get started with this solar panel review. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there you go. Interesting, huh? Never seen a panel uh, like this, at least the design. You know, it's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up and take a look. Before we open it up, we'll just take a look. We've got a nice uh, padded handle here. Interesting gray fabric. You've got uh, clips. Obviously, we'll be able to open this up and take a look at it. You've also got uh, loopholes as well. It looks like you've got uh, loopholes on all the corners. So we'll take a good look at that. Let me lay this down. Let's take a look and see what's in the uh, pouch here. Probably our solar cables, right? So there you go. You've got um, your MC4s. Okay, and then you've got um, a converter to XT60. All right, it's a regular XT60, not an XT60i. And obviously uh, that'll work for other power stations as well. So that's nice. You get a uh, warranty card and a user manual. All right, and let's go over some of the specs real quick before we start. Before we go over specs, we want to just look at this junction box here, and you can see you've got a USB Type-C, and then you've got U two USB Type-As. I'll put some specs on the screen on those. We'll start off with the USB Type-C, and then we'll go ahead and put some information in for the USB Type-As. Let's take a moment and go over some basics, and I'll tell you, starting off, you do get a one-year warranty, but if you open up this card here, it'll tell you, register your product to extend an additional three-year warranty. I really think they mean it's going from one year to three year. I don't think it's going from one year to four. But no matter what, register it. I mean, a three-year warranty is a good warranty. Now let's go over some basics and some specs. We'll start off with cell efficiency. This is rated at 22%. The uh, waterproof grade, they call it, is IP54. Uh, Model number on this is SP300. It's 300 watts, and uh, open circuit voltage is 43.5 volts, and rated current is 8.26 amps all right now i'll get the weight i'll put that on the screen as well now looking at the solar panel you've got four kickstands okay that's not bad they use velcro pretty much to put this together so um got some good velcro here to keep it closed but as you can see here you've got two kickstands here you've got one on that panel and one on that panel that's pretty good you know that you actually have four kickstands to keep this uh, stable. Let's see how they act. You know, are they really adjustable? I guess that'll be pretty interesting. 
So opening this one up, you're going to have to play with the Velcro. All right. So I'll just go ahead and kind of get that loose. You know, um, that's the fun part. I'll be honest with you. It's going to be a little fun because you're going to have to tilt this thing. But then it grabs back. You see the Velcro is grabbing back. So this is going to be fun. Um, again, it could be good for storage. But give me a second. I'll get this set up. All right, so that's what it looks like open, and that looks like, you know, the highest angle. All right, I'm going to try the lowest angle, obviously, but this is uh, the highest angle. Again, I like four kickstands, okay, as we go down here, a little bit darker, but you can see the straps, um, you know, stretchable, you know, so we'll figure out how they help us in getting the better angle. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment, but... You know, you get the straps, which is nice. All right. Again, there you go. Another look. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and maybe look at it from this angle and then see how much more it changes. Brooklyn, go over here. Go over here, please. So there's your highest angle. Let me try the lowest. All right, so bad news. These really don't adjust. This is a one angle panel. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I go over here and, uh, you know, you could push this in a little bit, right? So that's the highest you'll get, right? And then when you pull this out, it stops. So it doesn't give you any more flexibility to pull it out any further. So really, it's kind of a one angle panel. All right. All right, I have this positioned, and uh, so far, one thing I don't like is when you pick this thing up, it basically, you know, the, the, the kickstands go and grab the Velcro, so you have to keep pulling at the Velcro on the kickstand. So, eh, that can be a pain if you're moving this around to get different angles. Now, the reality is I use a solar angle guide to always make sure I have the best angle. Well, with this panel, it doesn't really allow you to go back much. So, I've got, as you can see here, the shadow is down further from the target. Now, if I could get this panel back more, that's where I want it to be, because then that means that's the perfect angle for the sun, and it'll produce more wattage. So, that's the, that's the best I could do based off of those kickstands. All right, a few more accessories. So you've already seen the solar angle guide. Very inexpensive, I love it, works great. So now you've got the um, solar disconnector tool. We'll show you how that works later on. Very inexpensive, really just helps you disconnect the solar cables. And of course, longer solar cables, you know, so you can put the uh, panel where you wanna put it. And you maybe might want to keep the power station inside or maybe on a shaded patio. All right. Um, I'll put links in the description, but let's go ahead and move forward. All right. Now, before we connect the solar panel, just be aware you do not want to buy any solar panel for any power station. You want to make sure that the solar panel that you're buying will meet the needs of your power station. If you make the mistake and buy a solar panel that is too strong for your power station, you can actually damage it. So let me put up on the left-hand side the solar specs for this power station, all right? So right there, all right? And now let's go ahead and put up the 300-watt solar panel specs right beneath it. And you'll see that the solar panel is actually a good match for this power station. You know, you, you don't want to mess around with open circuit voltage, right? Your voltage definitely has to stay within range for sure. So let's go ahead and connect this and see what we're getting. Just a reminder, make sure you look out for our detailed review on the NEO 2000. This is coming out any day now. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go ahead and connect the XT60, and let's see if this turns on. 
So we are receiving 227 watts of solar right now, 240. All right, we've got 8% charge on the battery. It says it'll take 7.3 hours to charge, but we're in the 230 range. That's not bad on a 300 watt panel. Now I will tell you it's about 58 degrees and it's partly cloudy. So to get 240 watts on a 300 watt panel, I am definitely impressed. All right, guys. Well, short and sweet, like I told you we would. Um, you know, so let me share some thoughts with you. I'll start off with maybe some things I don't like. So first of all, the Velcro kickstand legs are nice, right? Because you get four of them. So that's kind of a pro. But when you go to pick this thing up and move it around, those legs reconnect to the Velcro. So, you know, it can be some work. Nothing major, right? But, uh, they're, you know, you're fumbling a lot just because you want to move this as the sun angle changes. The other thing, too, is you really don't have a lot of angles because the, uh, the straps in the back don't flex. I wish they would because if they did, then I could pull those um, kickstands back further. So that's another con. I do like the quality of the panels. I do like how lightweight this thing is. It folds up real easy. It seems to be made of really good quality. I do like that you have the holes on all four corners. So if you want to hang this, you know, somewhere, instead of putting it on the ground, you can do that as well, you know. But uh, overall, performed really well. So I must say we got about 242 watts out of a 300-watt panel, uh, about in the 55-degree range. With uh, It was partially cloudy when we did our test. So I hope the review helped you in some way, and if it did, Take a moment, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. I hope we've deserved that. If you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member. So take a moment and subscribe and join us. And share our video as well. And if you do share our video, post a comment so we can give you some love back because sharing our video helps our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook right up top. Also, check out our new Tesla channel. We just got a Tesla, and we're starting to do some product reviews. But long term, we're going to want to compare gas versus owning an electric car. And what are the differences? What would you have to go through? Is it difficult? All right, guys, but uh, seriously, thank you so, so much. And uh, I'll show you Brooklyn. She's hanging out here. You guys have a wonderful day. Right, baby?